A very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Nancy Anderson. It is Wednesday, June 7th. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices fell on Tuesday owing to a rise in the value of the US dollar. Brent crude prices fell by 0.42 cents, settling at $76.29 per barrel. While WTI futures decreased by 0.41 cents, settling at $71.74 per barrel. On Tuesday, Open spec naphtha prices plunged by $23 per metric ton at the $565 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In linear low density polyethylene. This week, LLDPE prices journeyed southward in the Asian region. LLDPE prices continued to fall on the back of a sluggish market sentiment and surplus product avails in the region. Lower import offers from overseas suppliers also weighed on prices. A drop in ethylene feedstock values further pulled prices lower in the region. In Far East Asia, LLDPE prices were assessed at the $890 to $920 per metric ton CFR levels, a week-on-week -week decline of $10 per metric ton. In Southeast Asia, LLDPE prices were assessed at the $940 to $970 per metric ton CFR levels, a fall of $10 per metric ton from the previous week. In India, LLDPE prices were assessed at the $950 to $980 per metric ton CFR levels, a drop of $20 per metric ton from the previous week. In Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride. In polypropylene. This week, PP prices declined in Asia. Prices were dragged lower in China owing to a fall in PP futures. Weak demand sentiments and an oversupply situation combined with competitive offers from overseas suppliers weighed on the market undertone in Southeast Asia. Converters in the region were heard to have curtailed production rates at their plants to 55 to 65 percent of production capacity levels owing to a decline in demand for finished products. Market participants in India struggled to unload their stockpiles amid a subdued market momentum. In polyethylene. This week, LDPE and LLDPE prices fell in Asia while HDPE prices were assessed lower in parts of the Asian region. Demand sentiment has weakened in China on account of a slow season while the country's plastic industry is witnessing a deceleration in export orders on account of a prevalent global economic slowdown. Rising worries over global economic uncertainties and a weakened purchase pulse from overseas markets had contracted the export arbitrage for China. PE prices continued to be pressured lower in Southeast Asia with regional producers reducing their offers in the domestic and export markets to maintain their inventories. In polyvinyl chloride. This week, PVC prices were assessed stable in Asia. Market sentiment in the region was reportedly steady amid sufficient product avails. Our special newsreel today is sponsored by PlexConnect. PlexConnect 2023 is a unique business networking platform which will connect global buyers with Indian suppliers. The show especially focuses on inviting selected international buyers of plastics who will be invited to meet Indian exhibitors for their sourcing requirement. The first ever export-focused event for plastic. Established since 1955, the Plastics Export Promotion Council, PlexConcil, is sponsored by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Department of Commerce, Government of India. PlexConcil continues to remain engaged in promoting India as a major sourcing hub for the plastics industry, opening new bilateral trade opportunities for the Indian and global plastics industries. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me Nancy Anderson, from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.